Hi Pisces, this is your March 20th through March 26th weekly tarot reading. We'll have five separate spreads in this weekly reading. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship or marriage. I'll then do the X spread after that. We'll talk about your work, your business and your finances. And at the end, we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. This first bit is a new love this week. Uh, we have the Ace of Pentacles, clarified by the Ace of Swords. We have the Moon. We have the Four of Swords, clarified by the Queen of Cups. In the potential outcome, we have the King of Wands with the Three of Wands and the Ace of Wands. And we have the Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Well, Pisces, i got to be honest with you. It's been a while since I saw three aces in the same spread. I can't even remember when was the last time I saw it. What this is talking about is this person um, is going to come towards you, and for some of you, it's going to be shocking and even overwhelming. Because they're, they're coming in, and uh, this person knows exactly what they want, and uh, the offer is legit. The offer is serious. All right, this person is not uh, wasting any time. They're not going to be beating around the bush or play around. No. When they do <laughs> start talking to you, they'll be talking to you commitment. Commitment. If this is a brand new person, second or third date, commitment. <laughs> right? Uh, yeah, we got two aces in the beginning. The Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords clarifying it. The Ace of Pentacles... Uh, is the uh, the real deal, you know, the Ace of Pentacles always comes from somebody who is ready to settle down, ready to start a family, ready to get serious, and uh, that's exactly what they're going to be talking to you about with the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is a card of somebody who is very decisive, very straightforward, very honest, and this person is not fooling around. They're not kidding. No, they're not kidding. The Ace of Swords is a card of a new beginning, that's what they want with you, and that's what they're going to be very honest to you about. And I think it's going to shock you. <laughs> Even though I, I don't see uh, the um, Tower card that would usually indicate a shock, but uh, I see you taking a little bit of break to uh, wrap your head around what just happened to process this. You're going to be like, whoa, 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 hold, hold your horses, slow down. Right, um, the you are in this reading twice, right? The Moon and the Four of Swords, the two following cards, and the Queen of Cups. All those three t cards are are you, right? The Moon is your major kind of card. That's you, and the uh, the Queen of Cups. That's also you. And I think that's you in the Four of Swords, taking a bit of a break to process what just happened. Okay, so that makes me assume that it's going to be a little bit shocking. Well, for some of you, not a little bit. But it's going to be shocking, overwhelming, that you're going to be like, oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. You know, I was just uh, minding my own business. <laughs> um, yeah, but uh, in the potential outcome, we have the King of Wands with the Three of Wands and the Ace of Wands, right? Uh, you're actually dealing with that King of Wands. Uh, so it could be a fire sign, Aries, the Aries, Sagittarius, or somebody with a lot of fire in their chart. If they're not a fire sign, they're embracing the energy of the fire sign this week. Somebody who is very discernment, very passionate, very fiery, right? It's like uh, with the Three of Wands in the middle, they made up their mind, they made a final decision, and after that, there is no turning back, at least when it comes to this person's perception, right? The Ace of Wands right next to the deck, this is, again, the, them wanting to get the show on the road with you as quickly as possible. Third ace, right there. And uh, there's a hint about how this could potentially go. We have the Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck, right there, all the way to your right. It's a card of a family. It's a card of a commitment, marriage. Uh, this card is often referred to as the uh, happily ever after card. It's the best card when it comes to emotionally fulfilling relationships or marriages. So, yeah, take your time, think about it. I think you will. <laughs> but, um, yeah, if you want this, this person is just anxious to uh, move forward with you. Perhaps the two of you can have a conversation and uh, perhaps this person is going to come off a bit too, too strong, right? Hence all these aces, right? Um, but uh, I think the only reason is because they are in love with you. They, they, it's like when they saw it, when you, when, the, when they saw you, they knew you're the one, and that's why they're just, they just don't want to wait, you know. And, and uh, yeah, <laughs> all right. I'm not even gonna bother with an extended for you, uh, Pisces. Right? This looks awesome. Think about it. Take your time. Um, but uh, in case you're wondering what this person's full and true intentions are, yes, 
the the offer is legit they really do want to move forward with you they really do want to get serious with you all right really happy for you congratulations Pisces, if you are already married, or if you're in a relationship, this spread is for you. We have the Three of Cups, the Queen of Swords, the Six of Cups, and the Seven of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. For whatever reason, this is what's going to be uh, a highlight or of an, of an importance for you uh, this week. For those of you who are married or uh, in a relationship, this Queen of Swords is going to show back up. Okay, um, it could be your relative, it could be somebody you used to hang out with, you used to work with, you used to be friends with, and uh, they want to catch up with you, all right? There is a one small red flag here. Uh, the Seven of Cups on the bottom of the deck, it could be a card of uh, over-intoxication, all right? <laughs> so be careful as to how much you guys uh, consume, how, how much of the adult beverages you guys uh, consume. All right. Perhaps you have to go the follow. You have to go to work the following day. All right. So yeah. But I think you're gonna be happy to see this person. So yeah, the Queen of Swords is the person showing back up. Could be an Air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. The Six of Cups right next to the deck is a Soulmate card, but it's also a card of somebody coming back from the past. All right. The Three of Cups, the first card that came out, is a card of a reunion or a card of a celebration or both. Perhaps you're reuniting and you're celebrating this reunion. So yeah. Um, I think you're going to be happy to see this person. Again, I don't know what your uh, what the nature of this connection is. You're going to be happy to see them, but at the same time, don't overdo it <laughs> with that Seven of Cups. All right? Cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Pisces, this week. Keep in mind, it doesn't have to be the most recent ex. We have Justice, Judgment, um, the Nine of Swords, Clarified by Death, and we also have... Uh, the five of wands on the bottom of the deck. You're going to be dealing with a Libra or a Scorpio or pretty much any zodiac sign. I, I don't think you guys are getting back together. Nope. I would question their motives, right? Just as the first card, it could be a card of a major, major apology that they have for you. Uh, but at the same time, justice could be a divorce or a separation. Perhaps this person is going through a divorce or a separation, and uh, they're looking for a rebound, right? Judgment um, in the middle is a card of somebody having uh, somebody coming back from the past. Um, the five of ones on the bottom of the deck is a card of a struggle or a fight or a conflict or drama. And uh, the nine of swords, clarified by death, right next to the deck. Um, <laughs> I, since those two cards sh showed up last, then I don't see. I see nothing for you here, Pisces. I, I just don't. Quite the opposite. The Nine of Swords is a, is a card of somebody who is stressed out, somebody who has got depression, anxiety, somebody who is somebody whose feelings are all wired up, you know, and death clarifying it uh, could be a Scorpio you're dealing with, but, uh, you know, if this came to an end, if this person comes back and uh, they f make you feel miserable, they make you cry, why would you want to go back to someone like that? You know, why would you ever even consider? So send them back to the past where they belong. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, Pisces, this week. We have the Three of Pentacles, uh, the Five of Wands. We have the Hierophant, the Moon, and uh, the, the Nine of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Taurus. I think people are fighting for your full and undivided attention here. Or people fighting for you. <laughs> right? Um, here's the deal, right? I believe you're in this reading twice. First of all, the moon right next to the deck is your major arcana card. And it's always a good sign to have your own major arcana card in your own reading. That means you're the one in charge, or you're in the center of attention, and things revolve around you. The nine of pentacles on the bottom of the deck all the way to right, I think that's also you. You know, this is a card of somebody who is in the spotlight. Somebody who is doing good financially. Perhaps you just recently achieved something, or you reached some kind of a goal, or you made a billion dollars. I don't know. And now everybody wants your attention. Everybody wants to pick your brain, or everybody wants to hire you. I don't know. Or everybody wants you to consult for them. Right? Speaking of consultant, the Three of Pentacles, the first card that came out, is a card of collaboration, right? And uh, this card sometimes does come through as a consulting, right? Because you see, there's three people in the Three of Pentacles, right? There's two people kind of standing, uh, standing on the right, 
and uh, there is one other person standing on the left. The person standing on the left is a little bit above the other two. So that often comes through as a card of consulting, teaching people, things like that. The 501s clarifying that is a card of, um, I don't think it's a conflict, unless people are fighting for you, right? But uh, yeah, people want your attention, right? Perhaps um, you are a puzzle person, people come to you with, and asking for an advice, asking you to help them out to solve some kind of an issue, or again, perhaps people want you to go somewhere, to some kind of a conference, right? Or they want you to speak somewhere, right? You're in high demand, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> the Hierophant in the middle, um, uh, when it comes to work, business, and finances, the Hierophant is a really good card. It's a card of something formal, something official, right? So something that involves paperwork, something that is legit. It could be a card of education. Again, you could be teaching people, right? This is a great spread, all right? Cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen, uh, Pisces, this week. We have uh, the King of Pentacles, clarified by the Six of Cups. We have the Tower, we have uh, the High Priestess, and uh, we also have the Knight of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You can be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or an Air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. What you're not expecting is this King of Pentacles showing back up. This is somebody you already know. Right? The King of Pentacles could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or somebody with a lot of Earth in their chart, or they could be somebody who deals with money or business. Right? And the Six of Cups clarifying the King of Pentacles, yeah, you already know them. For some of you, it's your ex. For others of you, it could just be somebody from your past. Right? doesn't have to be an ex. It doesn't have to be about love either. We have the Tower, the next card over. In this case, the Tower is something that happens unexpectedly. Right? Hence the name of the spread. <laughs> Um, the Knight of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Um, this is where this um, story could potentially go either to the left or to the right, right? The Knight of Swords, it could be them simply showing back, showing back up, traveling. It's the fastest knight out of all four knights. But at the same time, perhaps that could be your reaction towards this person, right? The Knight of Swords out of all four uh, knights is the one that tends to get into fights. I'm not saying you're going to literally get into a fight with this person, but perhaps you will want to chase them down, chase them out of your life, depending on uh, your situation. Uh, the High Priestess, right next to the deck, is a card of your own intuition. So whatever your intuition is going to tell you, <laughs> that's how it's going to go down. That's how you're going to react towards this. So yeah, it's... Um, yeah, I would question their motive, Pisces. I would question their motive. Why all of a sudden they're showing up? Um, and it's like this person is trying to, they're coming in real quick, right? Either way. The tower is something that happens quick, unexpectedly. The knight of swords is something that happens real quick. So perhaps this person is deliberately trying to get you on board with something before you realize what's going on, before you do your research, before you ask around, before you ask additional questions. I don't know. I would, I would not jump head first with this person. Okay? So yeah, that's what I have for you. Um, Pisces for this reading for this week. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Pisces, have an amazing day.